English speaking course. I can understand English, but I can't speak. If so, today's video is just for you. In this video, we'll provide you with five English learning habits for beginners. This method has helped many learners improve their English. Do you want to be like that? So make sure to watch until the end to take your English to a next level. Let's start with practicing listening skills. Listen to the conversation carefully and fill in the empty blanks with one or two words. I'm so excited for our camping trip tomorrow. Daniel, can you help me check if we have everything? Sure, Audrey. Let's start with the tent and sleeping bags. Done. We also need a flashlight, a map, and some cooking gear. Did we pack the food? Yes, all the food is packed. Don't forget the water bottles and first aid kit. Great, I think we're all set. I can't wait for tomorrow. Make sure to wake me up early. Audrey, wake up. It's time to get ready for our trip. <sighs> Hello, it's already morning. Thanks, Daniel. Could you help me choose what to wear? How about your blue jacket and hiking boots? It might be cold outside. Good idea. I'll also take my hat and scarf. Audrey, look at the scenery outside. It's so beautiful. Here. I brought you a cup of hot coffee. Thank you, Daniel. Remember our last camping trip on our honeymoon? So many wonderful memories. Yes, that trip was amazing. We've been too busy to spend time creating more beautiful memories together. Now I feel regretful. Audrey. Let's set up the tent over there, near the trees. It's a good spot. All right, Daniel. Can you guide me? It's been a while since I did this. Sure. First, spread out the tent and then connect the poles. Like this? Am I doing it right? Yes, that's perfect. Now, anchor it to the ground with the stakes. It's all set up now. It looks good, doesn't it, Daniel? It looks great, Audrey. You did an amazing job. This is our favorite camping photo. It will be nice to have it here with us. Yes, our photo can be placed right here. It's like I'm still here with you. Daniel, how are you doing over there? I still can't believe you were taken away by cancer. Today I returned to the campsite where we shared so many good memories. But my heart only feels pain without you. You're still right next to me, aren't you? Still watching over me, right? Daniel, can you see how much I miss you? Everything here reminds me of you. The campfire, the stars, they all feel so empty now. I came back here to feel close to you again, but it's just so hard. I promise, after today, I'll try to find happiness again for you, for us. But tonight... <laughs> Let me be heartbroken <laughs> one last time under the stars. I'm very sorry, Audrey. I am always by your side in every step you take in your life. 
The first word we have here is tent, meaning a portable shelter made of cloth used for sleeping outdoors. Next, we have a sleeping bag, meaning a warm padded bag for sleeping in, especially when camping. Let's start with the tent and sleeping bags. Let's move to the word flashlight, meaning a small portable electric light powered by batteries. We also need a flashlight, a map, and some cooking gear. How about the word water bottle? Container used to hold and carry water for drinking. Finally, we have first aid kit, meaning a collection of supplies and equipment for giving basic medical treatment. Don't forget the water bottles and first aid kit. All right, everybody, is everything all clear? This is how you learn the vocabulary by heart. Now we head to the duet part, where you can practice your speaking skills. Speak out loud when the lines appear on your screen. Pretend like you are having a real conversation. Are you ready? Let's go. Sure, Audrey. Let's start with the tent and sleeping bags. Did we pack the food? Don't forget the water bottles and first aid kit. Audrey, wake up. It's time to get ready for our trip. <sighs> How about your blue jacket and hiking boots? It might be cold outside. Audrey, look at the scenery outside. It's so beautiful. Here, I brought you a cup of hot coffee. Yes, that trip was amazing. Audrey, let's set up the tent over there, near the trees. It's a good spot. Sure. First, spread out the tent and then connect the poles. Yes, that's perfect. Now, anchor it to the ground with the stakes. It looks great, Audrey. You did an amazing job. Yes, our photo can be placed right here. It's like I'm still here with you.
I'm very sorry, Audrey. I am always by your side in every step you take in your life. Number one. Why is Audrey excited at the beginning of the conversation? The answer is B. She is preparing for a camping trip. Number two. What item did Daniel remind Audrey not to forget? C. The water bottles and first aid kit. Number three. What are Audrey and Daniel doing near the trees? A. Setting up the tent. Number four. Why is Audrey heartbroken? B. Daniel was taken away by cancer. Number five. What does Audrey promise to do after today? A. Try to find happiness again. Great job, everyone. How many correct answers did you get? Let me know in the comment section below. Finally, let's turn what you have practiced today into your daily habits. Let's try to think in English and express your words in English. I have a secret tip for you. You can practice thinking in English with the five W's. They are who, what, when, where, and why. Let's have a look at the first situation. Wow, these cookies smell amazing. Did you bake them? Yes, I did. I'm trying out a new recipe. What's the occasion? It's for our office party tomorrow. I want to surprise everyone. They're going to love them. Let's practice thinking and speaking with this situation. Who are they? They are Emily and Sarah. Where are they? They are probably in the kitchen. When is this taking place? It's the day before their office party. What is happening? Sarah has baked cookies using a new recipe and Emily is commenting on how amazing they smell. Why did Sarah bake the cookies? Because she wants to surprise her colleagues at their office party. Let's make a sentence. Emily compliments Sarah on her freshly baked cookies, which Sarah prepared for their office party tomorrow to surprise their colleagues. What do you think about this method? It's quite simple to understand, right? If you find it hard to answer the question why, you may skip that. All right, shall we try another example? Why is it so quiet in here? Oh, I forgot to turn on the music. What kind of music do you usually listen to while working? I love listening to classical music. It helps me focus. Let's put on some Beethoven then. Let's have a look at this situation. Who is he? He is Kevin. What is he doing? Kevin is about to play music while working. When does he listen to music? Kevin listens to music during his work hours. Where is he likely to be? He is probably in his office. Why does he listen to classical music? Because classical music helps him focus on his work. Finally, we have a full sentence. Kevin, in his quiet workspace, decides to play classical music, especially Beethoven, to help him concentrate while working. How does it sound now? Have you learned it? You can choose the methods that make you comfortable when learning English. Remember, no matter what happens, never give up. Please be determined to achieve your learning goals. The outcomes will never let you down. Don't forget to develop these five-minute habits every day to improve your English.
Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.